Terry, so we again a quick turnaround in Yeovil tomorrow night, but it's all about keeping that momentum going from Saturday, isn't it? Yeah, we've got uh, obviously Yeovil tomorrow and then Dorking, then Torquay. They're all well, Dorking are higher, but they're teams around us, so they're very, very important games to us. We don't have hardly any preparation time at all. We, we trained at the wreck today, and that was good to be able to train on the grass. Uh, good session, and um, you know, really important couple of games for us. Obviously, it was great to see you back in the dugout once again. But you know, I mean, you had a bit of help there, didn't you? We've see, we saw Ross and James come up from the academy to give you a helping hand. <clears throat> yeah, Ross and James have worked all week. Uh, constantly on the training pitch with the boys to just tweak the system a bit. It's, you know, we're not reinventing the wheel. Um, so I do want to thank all the fans for their terrific support. What a Saturday they gave me and my family. That was fantastic. It was deja vu, and to hear them singing, you know, Jerry Brown's Red and Blue Army was something else. Um, I've had my day in the in the sun. And it's about the two academy, and I call them lads, one of them's 38 for heaven's <laughs> sake. They've worked their socks off through the academy. We've got one of the best academies ever. You only have to watch the FA Youth Games where the, the, the football they played. They've come in to help, and they've got an opportunity. Um, Ross has put his CV in. He's got a great opportunity to, um, to show not just about winning every game, though obviously winning is a massive part of it, but about the type of football he wants to play. He wants to play on the front foot, he wants to play attacking football, and I thought that was very much uh, visible on Saturday. Um, I was delighted with the, the, the way the players embraced uh, the changes. Um, not massive changes, but just you know, simple as in two up front. And, um, just. I wouldn't say simplifying it because that sounds like we were overcomplicating it. There's fine margins in football. If I look at Saturday's result, it was fantastic. I thought we played well. I thought we deserved to win. And they had one of their best players sent off. A couple of weeks ago, we had one of our players sent off. So the dividing lines are fine. But these two boys have got a real good chance now to say this is a brand of football I'm playing. We have a fantastic list of applicants and we're, whilst we're ticking along, we're not in a desperate hurry to, to, uh, to get somebody in. It's, uh, I'd like, to, if we are going to hand over, it, it's, it's handing over to a, a position, a decent position and, and not in the bottom four. And if I look at the games, they are winnable. And obviously with such a small turnaround, is it, is, you, you've said it yourself, it's, it's not ideal in terms of training, but in terms of preparing and, and you know, looking at Yeovil and what they can bring, is, is that all right? Have, have we done our homework? Yeah, we've got a uh, very good IT here, so we know exactly how Yeovil play, as, as they know exactly how we play. Um, we'll have a little bit of a surprise element, but they only have to watch the video of Saturday to see what we're about. And and like, without repeating myself too much, it isn't about reinventing the wheel. It's about looking at the basics. What is any new manager going to do when he comes in? He's going to look at the fact that we can see two goals a game as an average. You can't survive in any league conceding two goals a game. It's goals four, yeah, not too bad. We're, we're more than one a game. Um, disappoint, that's the only disappointment from Saturday was their goal against the run of play when it was an awful goal, whatever way you dress it up, it, it, it was awful. Um, but I, I think, again, I was really pleased with the heads didn't drop. And OK, we were playing against 10 men, but sometimes that's not very easy. They dropped a lot deeper with a lower block. And we played our football and didn't just lump balls up to any. We, we mixed it up and, and we, we passed the ball well and kept the ball well. And that's been a problem we've had. Uh, most of this year with good ball retention and uh, I thought the, the lads grew in, grew in confidence a little bit and you know with, with due respect to whatever coach is in here and, and working their socks off 
the confidence comes from the coaching of course it does it comes from the training but it's cemented on the pitch and unless you're getting wins that confidence dries up so we come on the back uh, we're going to three hard away games on the back of a really good performance at home and that means everything not just to me but all the fans obviously <laughs> Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.